Hello everyone, welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and in this video today we're going to be using the Blackstar Amp 2 to dial in a great indie rock and garage rock style tone. So what we're going for in this video is some lo-fi tones that points will not sound very pleasing to the ears. But this is an intentional move because a lot of indie and lo-fi garagey bands really go for that amp on the verge of exploding sound and this is a great way to get that kind of tone. It's not the most comfortable tone to play with but it certainly has a lot of vibe and a lot of character. So all the tones you're going to hear in the video are coming directly from the Blackstar Amp 2 which is plugged straight into my audio interface from the Cabrick output and the guitar I'm using is this Chapman Guitars ML3 Pro X. So amp wise for this I've gone for a British style amp with EL84 tubes. Now the reason I've gone for this is the EL84 tubes really kind of compress and break up when you really push them hard. And then you'll notice that I've pretty much cranked everything. So the volume, all of the EQ, and then the gain I do have back to about 2 o'clock because I do want to retain a slightly cleaner tone. If you want to go for that full on fuzzed out garage rock thing, you can just crank that gain knob as well. Now even though everything is dimed, this is still very very responsive. So I'm pairing this with a room reverb at all times. And if I play with single coils, I get a much cleaner sound like this. So there's still plenty of bite there. We're just kind of going over the edge of breakup. But if we go to the bridge pickup, we go more broken up. Now with this kind of tone we want that slightly honky thing going on there in the upper mid-range because what's happening is we're really pushing the amp hard so the amp is working hard and the speaker is working hard but we still have a lot of clarity to the sound that's why I didn't push the gain all the way up because I still want to hear that brightness from the strings. That's great for those indie chord progressions but then if you want to go down the garage rock road you can kick on the fuzz. So here I've got the fuzz nearly dimed on the gain I've got the tone at just over 2 o'clock and the level just after 1 o'clock. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use the fuzz, but I'm going to pair that with the delay. So for this I'm using an analog delay, very very short time, low feedback and low level. That's going to give me this very quick slapback tone. And that's going to take me straight into the garage rock sound. has a lot of real lo-fi quality about it. It's quite fuzzy but the delay makes it very spacious and almost removes any sense of tightness from the sound. But that's great if you want to play that garage rock sort of vibe because really it's a very lo-fi sound and it's not meant to sound pretty. If we really want to go crazy and we want to play some really lo-fi almost nasty sounding leads we can add a phaser set very very slow and low with the level blended halfway and this is going to give us some really cool lo-fi leads. <laughs>
So that lead tone might not be your conventional blues rock lead tone because it's not meant to be. It's meant to be very lo-fi and very uncomfortable sounding. A lot of the great garage and indie rock bands prefer using vintage gear or very rare and quirky gear. Now, if you look through a list of what all of those great bands use, you'll find some really interesting rare things. That's how a lot of them get that really cool lo-fi sound where everything kind of sounds like it's just about to blow up. It's not about pristine sounds, it's about the attitude of what you're playing. So here we've just gone for a very lo-fi sound across the board. None of these tones are really meant to be that nice sounding. They're meant to be a little rougher on the edges and they're meant to be quite characterful. So you can use this as a jumping off point to try and create your own garage rock sounds. So there you go, there are some garage rock and indie style guitar tones with the Black Star Amped 2. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of some of these tones. They're a little bit more quirky than some of the usual tones we might expect to hear. If there are any genres you'd like to hear us do these kind of videos with using the Amp 2, or there are any artists you'd like to see us talk about in these videos, please let us know those as well down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more free videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in Yolo area, please head over to musicteacher.com. There's a huge network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.